On the 12th of January 2010, a terrible earthquake struck the Port-au-Prince region of Haiti. Handicap International's teams of around 100 people survived the disaster. It responded to the emergency immediately, helping the injured and amputees in particular. Someone who has a lower limb amputation needs to stand up fairly quickly and start walking again. But for people like Marie's, it's a painful process. This support helps amputees become more self-reliant, but for Marie's, like so many others, it's the start of a long and painful process. Handicap International has opened a reception center in Port-au-Prince where amputees can stay with their families while they receive rehabilitation care. We meet up again with Marie's at the center in November. After being fitted with her prosthesis, she was offered a job as an administrative assistant. She and her colleagues ensure the day-to-day -day management of the center. Watching her help patients rehearse a play, you'd never guess the ordeal Marie's has been through since her amputation. Suffering from a lung abscess and stomach troubles, Marie spent two months on oxygen before she recovered. Quand j'étais à l'hôpital de Chouscal, j'ai mes familles qui, a, qui vivent de la France. Ils m'appellent de là, ils me disent « Marise, la vie est finie ». Je disais « Non, la vie n'est pas finie ». Si vous m'appelez pour me décourager, ne me rappelle plus. When Marise recovered, her determination and the support of her children meant she accepted her device extremely quickly. The rehabilitation process was particularly fast for Marie's. Maintenant, j'ai une vie nouvelle. Toutes les choses sont devenues nouvelles. Oui. Avec la prothèse, je suis une nouvelle Marie's. À fond deuxième. Marie's takes a calm and enthusiastic approach to her work as part of the Handicap International team. She's an example to the other patients and tries to pass on her love for life a vital part of the recovery process.